Sunday morning, quarter past six. Been up since five, thinking about stuff. Just been writing some stuff down. And uh, I wanted to read something to you about a little challenge, putting my daughter to bed last night. She's three and a half. Um, we, I don't live with her mum anymore. We only live five minutes away. She lives with her mum and uh, her mum now has another partner who's a woman called Elkie. And um, they started seeing each other. Lucy and uh, Elkie started seeing each other six months before we moved out, which I found out. Um, after we've moved out and that's for, I think I've made videos about that. That's a, that's a different topic. We're all amicable and fine now because I chose us to be, but there's challenges come up from time to time and uh, last night was one of them. So let me tell you about it. <clears throat> so last night putting Cadence to bed was tricky. She cried for Lucy, her mum, who's gone on a snowboarding trip for a week. But she couldn't speak to Lucy. She wanted to talk to Elkie, my Elkie, I want my Elkie. Her demeanour totally changed when we called her both times we called Elkie. And then she started pushing me away. Don't touch me. I don't want to be here. Don't touch me. Well, she slept in my bed, though. She doesn't feel that this is her home, which is understandable. She doesn't, of course, understand that I love her as much as Mummy. That it was Mummy who wanted to break up our family, who replaced me with Elkie and created an artificial environment where her daddy, her daddy is a satellite figure, where my home isn't her home. I'm writing this to get it out so I don't have to ruminate. It hurts me when she rejects me like that. But here is the helpful perception that I choose to focus on. That I'm a strong and wise adult man who can bear that cross because he can see the big picture. That my presence and involvement in her life is immensely valuable. However, her three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old brain tries to make sense of the world at the time. That I'm her father, the only one, and nothing will ever change that. I'm the positive balancing force that she needs. So I decided to, to write that down this morning to try to, most mostly when I journal, it's just trying to kind of get my thoughts together, you know, and also, like I say, getting it on paper means that I don't just keep churning it over and over and over. Yeah, it's quite hurtful when your child rejects you, especially when you're in this situation where you didn't choose it. I know I didn't want the separation. I fought against it, but it's what Lucy wanted. Um, you know, and then she rejects you in favour of, you know, the other partner. Um, but there's a positive way to look at it. And I think a few months ago, I would have, I would have taken that much differently. You know, I would have been a, a lot more reactive. I felt reactive last night because I was knackered. But then, you know, I, I just took a moment to realise this is just her trying to trying to make sense of things, trying to figure things out. Um, yeah. No point really, I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> Part of the challenges of being in the trenches, of being um, being a separated parent. Um, yeah, I wonder if you've had any similar experiences. Um, and I'll catch you soon.